Thank you, John. So starting over during the holidays, less than a week after their home was destroyed in a fire in a Marietta neighborhood, the family that once lived there is starting over in a hotel room. It's just totally destroyed. I mean, there's very little bit that is actually salvageable out of that house. None of my dishes, cookware, furniture, clothes, nothing like that. That was homeowner Kimberly Daughtry describing the destruction from the fire that they believe started from a power strip. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris met with a family tonight who says that this is the last thing they needed. Janice. Absolutely, Kent. You know, the family, the homeowner's mother told me tonight that she tried to suffocate that fire with a blanket, but she said that fire only grew more. Now they're hoping that the community will help them rebuild. For six years, a small home on Old Plank Road in Bulls Bay Highway has been home for Kimberly, her mother, husband and their pets. But a destructive fire took that away the day before Thanksgiving. Kimberly's mom, Sandra Kelly, was in the home during the fire. Well, I was watching television and I thought I smelled something. So I got up and went to the front door to be sure it wasn't coming from outside. And then when I turned around, I could see the flames coming up in the kitchen. <laughs> and I tried to put I'm sorry. I thought I could put it out. These photos take you inside the home. Smoke damage covers the walls and fire has destroyed photos, furniture and other memories. According to the family, the fire may have started from a power strip. Daughtry says that she was sick and in the hospital when she got the call. Her home was burning. I have had two heart attacks, two triple bypasses and a stent. And then I couldn't hold any food down. Now this hotel is home for the family of three plus pets. It's small, but they are managing with optimism and love for one another. My goal right now is to find another home that we can move into. I want to celebrate another day. And the family has created a GoFundMe account as they're trying to raise money to get back on their feet. We have a link to that GoFundMe account on our website, newsforjacks.com. But coming up tonight at 11, I have another story from the family, the message that they have about what they believe could have helped prevent the fire and at least what saved their lives. It's coming up tonight at 11. In Jacksonville, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.